Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to work on this little creation. Um, and I did do like an 11 minute video of my process of how I decided what went where <clears throat> and all the things, and I'll be happy to upload that, but it has, uh, it's just going to be music playing and occasionally me taking a deep breath. <laughs> You know, my allergies were bad and I didn't feel well and I videoed it, but I just, I don't even think it needs a voiceover. When I watched it this morning, it was just so peaceful. If I upload it, I'm going to upload it just the way that it is. But now I can show you uh, what I decided to do. So I used this beautiful little like waterfall uh, photo <laughs> thing. <laughs> that Doreen gave me. Thank you, Doreen. And then I used her beautiful uh, shabby vintage suitcases kit with Victorian ladies and hats, um, the pink one. And it's so cute. So I will, of course, put a link to Doreen's Etsy store where you can go get these adorable digitals. So I decided to, of course, sew around the edges and then I stickled the beautiful image but then I didn't do anything else because the images are gorgeous. Doreen, I love them. Um, I did add some eyelet to the top just so that it would fit in the sleeve and you wouldn't see any of the paper in the background. Let's see if I can slide that back in there. Right, just so cute. Love. And then the ladies... I used the background paper came from the kit. Oh, I took everything out. That's okay. Um, and then I did cover it with this lace, but I felt like this lace was delicate enough where you could still see the pretty um, background paper. So I didn't feel too bad about it. I think it enhanced it actually. I love it. And then I cut the Victorian ladies out of their little... Um, thing <laughs> Doreen had them in boy I'm good with the words today y'all good just good so I fussy cut out the ladies and then I stickled them and then I heared them down to the lace covered background which is so so pretty I absolutely love the way it turned out so let me see if I can get it back in here I'm trying to be very delicate not to <laughs> tear these pages apart all right, I'll just put that back in, in a minute. So here is the next one. Isn't that so pretty? And then look at these images. They are just gorgeous. Absolutely love them. And then I just put, this is one of the uh, paper papers from the kit it's just beautiful and then I made a little collage on the back page using some bits from her precious bits kit um, that you can get when you become a member of her crystals and pearls kit club and there is a waiting list to get into the kit club but I'll have all of Doreen's information below and you can contact her if you would like to get on the waiting list for that I am Thoroughly enjoying my uh, Precious Bits kit. And we're getting ready to dive into some of that too. All right, so let me get these guys back in here. And I will show you what I had in mind. So obviously when I started this, I was like, I'm going to use it as a waterfall. But um, as I started to create the things... It is now going to turn into a little bit of a, it's going to be a tag booklet, I think is what I've settled on because it's just so cute. So I'm going to, it's going to be like this in a cover. So it'll be more like a booklet instead of a waterfall because I keep adding things to this and it lays better if I put it like that especially when I add more things. So we're going to go with that. And so I cut these tags out of um, different scraps I had from Doreen's kit, like this one. 
I don't remember the name. I think it's Pink Parfait Cafe because that is my favorite kit and this is beautiful. And uh, this piece of uh, beautiful shabbiness came out of her Precious Bits kit. And then I used a bulb pen from Angel Dream Crafts and I used charms and bling from Angel Dream Crafts on each of the tags. And I covered the backs of the tags with um, music paper that I got out of the Precious Bits kit. So this is another one of Doreen's kits and then a bow from Angel Dream Crafts. I just think they're so cute but then I ran out of scraps big enough so I got into some uh, some of my scrap paper and made some more tags so what I'm thinking about is I thinking I can slip these tags in here and kind of leave them sticking up a bit Let's see if I can get that charm where I want it <laughs> maybe so it'll be over the ladies like that. So this side, you'll just see the music paper sticking up. And I thought that would be good enough since it has the lace up here. I'm trying to not have that glare, y'all. Sorry. Goodness gracious. Right? So the tags will just be like that. And I can't really add anything else to the tags or it's going to just rip these little sleeves open so I'm just not going to and besides they're pretty anyway and then you can you know put pictures on it or write on it whatever you want to do with your tags they're just so cute all right I kind of like them all being out the same bit so I mean it's cute right so cute all right let me get the rest of these in, so I'll know where we're at. And what we need to do next. Yes, so sweet. All right, we've got two more of these. This is one of my favorite charms from Angel Dream Crafts. Look at it, it's so cute. All right, <clears throat> that goes right there. Horrible. And then I've got one more that I think I'm going to put the bow coming this way. So these two will be kind of together because I don't want that hanging over. I love this collaged back and I'm just going to leave it just like that. It's just cute. All right, so now I've got that. So let me show you what I'm thinking of for the book cover. It's actually these book pages that I got out of my Precious Bits kit. Um, and they're like, they're like cotton or something. They're like, it feels almost like fabric, these book pages. And there were two of them and I sewed them together. And um, that is gonna be my cover. So for the tie closure, I'm using this adorable polka dot uh, trim that was in the Precious Bits kit. And then um, this is just going to go here just like that. So cute. All right, so let me set that to the side. So what I did on the outside of this is I used this adorable Paris fabric that I got in my Precious Bits kit. And she also sent a big piece of that fabric. So that's what is covering the back and the binding. And then this pretty piece of lace was in the Precious Bits kit also. And I just, I didn't cut it or anything. I just used the whole thing uh, to put on the cover. So right now that's my cover. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I haven't got that far <laughs> in my design process. But what I want to do before I add the uh, pages is I want to put pockets. Now let me show you. I got this adorable bag in the Precious Bits kit and it came embossed and so pretty. And uh, I'm gonna use that for a pocket and a tuck spot on the cover. But I cut the back off so that I could make a pocket on the other side that matched. And I went ahead and sewed a lace pocket on the front of that. So you have two, you'll have two pockets on this guy. And oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> 
excuse me. <laughs> my allergies are so bad right now, y'all. Just, they're bad. So, my apologies for the sneeze. And I think I'm just going to hot glue this because I have to tell you, all of my glues are, they, I need to go through and wash all of the applicators. But, I mean, I hardly have time to craft right now, so I certainly don't have time to do that. So, hot glue it is. Keep everything out of the way. What cute little pockets. All right, there's one. Now we're gonna do, oh, now I have the sniffles. I am so sorry. Now, okay, I'm going to blow my nose too. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. But I don't want to stop the video because if I have to edit it too much, it just is impossible for me to upload. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's glue down the bottom first. The way you emboss this is just so pretty, Doreen. Love, love. bits to glue down. Okay, here we go. All right, so I think I'm just gonna not glue down the sides of this so that it can be a nice open tuck spot I don't know we'll see I'll revisit that later so that's cute I love it love it love it all right so do I want to decorate this before I put it in I think I do so I was thinking what can I do to decorate some of the pages because I'm not sure how well things are gonna stick to this so this is what I came up with. I cut these little triangles out of some of the paper that was in the Precious Bits kit. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna put them right there so that I have something to build a collage on instead of trying to build a collage on here. So I'm going to use double-sided tape. And I'm also thinking I'm gonna use some glossy accents. <laughs> And I'm hoping between the two, it will hold this down to this paper. Let's see if I can get my glossy accents applicator to work. Where's my stick pin? Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump that. All right. I think this should be fine. Oh yeah, glossy accents is good. gonna stick that right there <clears throat> and then I'm gonna cover it with collage bits so I'm gonna do that on all of the ladies but I'm not gonna do that all right now so you don't have to watch me doing that because I'm already at 14 minutes you've got to be kidding me <laughs> it's absolutely insane all right so let me just show you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here and then in the precious bits kit <clears throat> this fabulous little dangle of yummies was actually around this book paper and after i glue this in i'm going to put it back 
around so it'll be like this and this will be dangling off the spine so i'm going to continue to work on this i'm sorry i can't film longer but my camera just will not and then i will put a flip through in the shorts and on my instagram when it's all finished now make sure you go and uh, follow the link to uh, Doreen, all of Doreen's things, her Etsy, her YouTube, and her um, Facebook group. And make sure you get on the waiting list for the Kit Club and get yourself this uh, shabby vintage suitcase in pink kit. Because it's adorable. All right, bye everybody.